everyone, I'm Sarah, and it's time for Friday Fun Day with Sarah. Today, we're going to learn how to take a t-shirt and make some yarn. That's called tarn. <laughs> t-shirt, yarn, tarn. <laughs> now, to make some t-shirt yarn, go raid your husband's or your girlfriend's or your best friend's t-shirt drawer. Find some t-shirts, put them through the washer and dryer, and then we'll lay them out flat and make some t-shirt yarn out of them. And all you need to make some t-shirt yarn is some t-shirts, of course, and a good pair of fabric scissors because we're going to be cutting fabric. Now, I used to have a roller that I used when I quilted, and you can use that as well. I can't use mine because I let it get dull. <laughs> and so I just picked up some good Fiskar scissors. You can use any fabric scissors that you have on hand. They'll work just fine. And then the other thing that you're going to need is some sort of a way of measuring so that you can get a good idea of how close together to clip your t-shirt lines. And one thing that makes this t-shirt yarn technique different is we don't cut it all the way through. We're going to cut the center of it and then we'll lay it out and cut the strips and you'll end up with out having to have any knots in your yarn. It'll just be a long strand of yarn. And it, in my opinion, it works so much better than cutting every loop and having to hook the loops together because then you get those bumps and we don't want that when we're making a fabric bowl like this. Now there are lots of patterns online, lots of free patterns that you can use with your t-shirt or tarn um, yarn. This is a pattern that I wrote a few years ago for a recycling blog that I was involved in and I'll put that link um, on the video here on YouTube. I'll put that link so that you can find that. I also did a blog a few years ago where I took pictures and I'll link that up to the notes under the video as well. Because sometimes even though you're watching it, look, being able to go and look at pictures helps a lot as well. So I'll, I'll post both of those links to the notes underneath this video so that you can go and check those out for yourself. All right, go raid your t-shirt drawer, grab your fabric scissors and a tape measure, and we'll get started. So the first thing we need to do is prepare the t-shirt for cutting. And what that means is we're just gonna lay it out flat. Whoops, almost lost my tape measure. All right. We'll take our scissors and right under the armpit of the shirt, we're just gonna cut it across to the other armpit of the shirt. There we go. And we'll just discard this. I'm gonna throw this in our rag pile. My husband uses them in the garage, so I can toss that in there. All right, so now, we want to take the hem off the bottom of the shirt, okay? So we're just going to cut that off. And so now I have this flat piece that is a tube. All right, we're going to take the shirt and fold it in half so that the seams are together on this end and we're gonna make sure we don't have any bumps in here. We want this to lay nice and flat. And so we'll just fold this in half. Now, you'll notice I've got some edges here that are a little off. And so I'll just go ahead and try to trim those as smooth as I can. But it doesn't have to be perfect. All right, now we're going to start cutting our strips. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your tape measure and I like to cut mine about an inch. And I do not mark on this unless um, I have something that's going to come out in the wash. 
okay? And so I just sort of set it out there. I'm gonna move this up so my tape measure sits nice and smooth. All right, and I just sort of eyeball it. And we're gonna start over here. I'm gonna cut about one inch strips. But I'm not going to cut through these two ends. I'm going to stop about an inch from the edge. That's about a half inch. You can do, it doesn't matter, inch to a half inch. We just don't want these two ends to be cut, all right? And then I'll just keep going, making my strips. Do not cut through that end, like I said. If some are a little thinner, some are a little thicker, that's okay. Approximately an inch. And the amount of strips that you get, of course, is how thick you cut it. If you want it for, say, making some chunky bags, because t-shirt yarn makes really good shopping bags, you can cut your strips a little thicker. If you want to maybe make a little purse or some hot pads, cut them a little thinner. It's up to you how you want to do or how thick you want to do your strips. The key is not to cut this edge. All right, so I'm just gonna keep on cutting. One thing, don't forget, if your shirt has a tag, you need to make sure you cut that tag off right up close to that seam without cutting that seam. You don't want that in your yarn. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we have it cut with all those edges or all those strips. We'll get our tape measure out of the way. We're going to open it up. And now comes the fun. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to start here. And we don't wanna cut this one across. We wanna cut this one at an angle. And then we'll pull that that way. And then we'll come to this end and we'll cut this first one straight across from slit to slit, okay? Now we'll pull that forward and we'll open this up where we started. Now, the lines won't be even because we did here where we cut and so we're not gonna go straight across here. We're gonna come down here to the next opening and we're gonna cut at an angle, okay? And we'll just go ahead and even that out just a little bit, just so that edge is gone. All right, now we'll come to the next side. So on this side, we're going to cut straight across. All right, then we'll come back to the other side And we'll cut from this slit and it kind of goes at an angle up there. This way you don't have to cut loops and then tie them all together. So on this end, we cut straight across. And then when we come back to the first end, we're going to cut at an angle from the first to the next slit. And we'll do this until we've cut our whole t-shirt into a long strip. And you can see it's all hooked together. 
all right? So, and it can be a little bit uh, time consuming on this part because you're cutting your slits and making your yarn. So you'll just keep cutting the one side at an angle and then the other side straight across and I just keep moving it along until I've gone through the entire t-shirt. So once you've cut all of them and you're down to your last loop, the way we do this, you've got your last loop here. We've cut our yarn all the way through the t-shirt. You're going to just cut that last one at an angle, kind of the way we started. All right, now, how do we get this to look like t-shirt yarn? What I do is I give it a little bit of a pull. It helps the edges roll up, and then I just start rolling it. Give it a little bit of a pull and keep rolling. And you can also, when you're working with it, making rugs and blankets and things and bowls, you can give it a pull as you work. Now, when you're using 100% cotton t-shirts, there's lots of wonderful things that you can make. Hot pads, blankets, t-shirts again, bowls, anything that you use a cotton yarn for, you can use a t-shirt yarn for. Now, you can also make this with other fabrics like polyester and do the same thing. Just keep in mind that cotton t-shirts are great for lots of items that we use cotton yarn for. And other shirts that are made of other fabrics, same thing. All right, so I'm just gonna continue rolling up this ball. So your average t-shirt is gonna get you about two and a half ounces of yarn. And what I do is I just mix and match my colors. This one is a flowered t-shirt and I think it's really pretty. This one was a striped t-shirt another really pretty one. Some solids, some brights, and another striped one. And you can see they're all about the same size. These are shirts that were large to extra large t-shirts. And I've got enough here to make some nice projects. If you want to click on that link and make this bowl, it's an oval shaped bowl. And I, this one was made from store-bought t-shirt yarn. I think it was called Zagetti, Spaghetti, something like that. It was really nice t-shirt yarn, but I have to tell you, it had quite a bit of knots in it. This is made from t-shirt yarn that I made. It ended up being just a little bit smaller, but I love this size because I like to take these, sorry about the airplanes. I think the Air Force Base is going back and forth a lot this morning, so please excuse that. But I love these because I like to take them along with me when I'm traveling in an airplane because I can put whatever yarn I have with me, I can set it on that tray and it's not going to get lost and roll around off the airplane or underneath everybody's feet. It also just makes a nice bowl for putting things in. All right, let's talk a little bit about what you can make using tarn or t-shirt yarn. And the reality of it is you can do any pattern that's out there. Now, keep in mind, if you cut your strips approximately an inch like I do, it's gonna come out to about a bulky five or six yarn. You can cut it a little bit thinner, but I found when it gets a little thinner, it's not as sturdy. And so I like to do it about uh, between a half inch to an inch for a nice sturdy yarn because we pull it a little bit to get it to have that look that we're looking for. And um, you can make really nice shopping bags because these have a little stretch, but they're very sturdy. And with a lot of places now wanting you to pay for your shopping bags, use up your old t-shirts, 
make some shopping bags, and you've got some sturdy bags to carry your groceries in or whatever you're gonna be shopping for. They make great rugs. I love to make the little half circle rugs for in front of my washer and dryer. So when I'm standing there sorting clothes, I'm standing on that. And if I make them out of cotton, any water that drips, it'll get absorbed in that cotton. Round rugs are great too. Now, if you like to donate rugs for uh, pet rescues, they like those rectangle ones. These are perfect. That way those precious puppies and kitties don't have to sit on cement floors. They have a little rug to sit on. And that's one that I like to do as well. But there are tons of patterns that you can do. You can make shirts. You can make ponchos, shawls out of cotton or acrylic t-shirt yarns. I had a friend who would cut up her old bed sheets into long strips and make sturdy mats as well. And so any pattern that you've seen online that's a bulky five or even a bulky six, give it a try with your t-shirt yarn. And make sure that you do lots of colors and styles so you can mix and match your colors. Okay, one more thing before I go. There are lots of places to find old t-shirts that you can use. Of course, your closet, your friend's closet, your mom's closet, your boyfriend's closet, your husband's closet, your girlfriend's closet. We all have extra t-shirts that we don't use. But another place you can find some nice inexpensive t-shirts is Goodwills and Salvation Armies and other thrift stores. And another thing that I do is if I'm at my local Walmart and they're clearing out a bunch of old shirts, I may not wear that shirt, but if it's a nice color for some t-shirt yarn, I might pick that up and cut it into t-shirt yarn. So be willing just to, you know, use your imagination. It doesn't have to be solid. It can be striped, it can be flowered, and lots of different colors together. Now, remember, go to the links underneath this video for the pattern for this bowl, as well as the blog that has pictures and written out how I made my own t-shirt yarn with no knots. Well, thanks for spending a little time with me today on Friday Fun Day with Sarah, and I certainly hope that you will make some tarn for yourself. We'll see you next week on Friday Fun with Sarah.